guys welcome to my youtube channel study with soumya as your tcs and qt and wipro analysis exam is approaching and in both these exams coding is an essential section so in this video we will solve a coding problem first i will discuss the approach to solve the problem and then we will solve the problem using a particular language right so this is the problem from lead code the problem is happy number so the question says write an algorithm to determine if a number n is happy a happy number is a number defined by the following process starting with any positive integer so the first thing is number is always going to be a positive integer replace the number by the sum of the squares of its digits repeat the process until the number equals 1 or it loops endlessly in a cycle which does not include 1 those numbers for which this process ends in one are happy return true if n is a happy number and false if not so an example is also given here so let me explain you so suppose a number is given to us like this n equal to 19 so what basically they are trying to say we have to square the digits of this number 19 what it is going to be 9 square is 81 Plus one, that is eighty-two, right? Then eight square plus two square, we have to do sixty-four plus four, that is sixty-eight. Then six square plus eight square, we have to do. It is going to be hundred, right? Then one square plus zero square plus zero square, it is going to be one. So basically, they are trying to say a number is given to you, and on repeatedly squaring the digits of the number. For example, first we took nineteen. We squared the digits. We got eighty-two. Then we took eighty-two. We squared the digits. We got sixty-eight. Then for sixty-eight, we got hundred. And then we squared the digits of hundred, and we got one. So they are saying that if at the end you got one as the output, this particular number is going to be a happy number. But if in in the case you didn't got one, instead of that you are getting a endless loop like this. So for example. we have a number 29 so 2 square plus 9 square is going to be 85 then 8 square plus 5 square is going to be 89 then 8 square plus 9 square is going to be 145 then 1 square plus 4 square plus 5 square is going to be 42 then 4 square plus 2 square we will get Twenty. Um. On for this, we will get four. Then four square is going to be sixteen. Then one square plus six square is going to be thirty-seven. Then three square plus seven square is going to be fifty-eight. And then five square plus eight square is going to be eighty-nine. And you can see eighty-nine is is. already present in the sequence right so again when you will do 8 square plus 9 square we will get 145 then 42 then 20 then 4 so you can see the same cycle is repeating it will result it will result into an endless loop right so it is given that if an endless loop we are getting then simply this number is not a happy number so 29 is not a happy number so we have to return false so if a number is happy number then we have to return true otherwise we have to return false right so let us see how should we have to implement this what should be the approach right so what we can do first we will run a loop right we will run a loop up to the time condition is true then what we will do suppose your number is 19 so we want these two digits square and along with the sum right so for this what we will do we will run another for loop and here we will check while the given number that is 19 is greater than 0 so we can mod this particular number by 10 to get 9 right so let's take a variable for example let it be rem here we will take the mod of this number right so this is some kind of logic that we apply for squaring the digits first we will apply that logic right so what we will do we will take another variable uh, let it be well we will first initialize it with zero and then we will in this well 
first we will store the sum of this particular nine right so rem into rem and then what we will do now this nine is not needed we have already uh, we have already taken the square of this particular number and added in our variable well now we will divide our number by 10 so that we can get rid of this 9 so this we will do right and then the well will value will be calculated and it is going to be 8 is square okay 9 is square plus 1 is square that is 82 right uh, so 82 will be our value now so what we will check here we will check that if our value is equal equal 1 so we can simply return true that the number is happy but right now the value is 82 so what we will do so let's we will use the a very famous data structure in python that is dictionary so we will take our dictionary right and we will store this well as a key in our dictionary right we know that uh, it is a rule in dictionary that keys should not be duplicate right so for this what we will do uh, we will also check one more thing right so we will check that if this particular value is already present in our dictionary right it is already a key so in that case what we can conclude that it is resulting into a loop a infinite loop the values are repeating so in that case we will do so we can check if well in our dictionary that is s so we will simply return false right otherwise if this is not the case um it means that this well is not present in our dictionary so we will simply add this value as a key in our dictionary and let us store a particular value uh, associated with this key well that let it be one or anything you can take now also one more thing now we want our value to be our n to be this 82 right and the same thing will happen for 82 as well right so what we will do we will initialize or we will assign this well to our n right again what will happen the condition is still true while true or uh, we will check while 82 greater than 0 this same thing will happen for 82 as well uh, now value of well is going to be 8 is square that is 64 plus 4 that is 68 now again we will check if well equal equal 1 so is this so no right now we will check if well in our dictionary no right so again this 68 is going to be our n now we will do the same thing for our 68 as well the summation of this is going to be 100 right 8 square plus 36 same thing will happen is our value equal equal 1 no it is present in dictionary no so again now our n is going to be 100 same thing we will do for 100 also and for this well uh, now if you, we will add this thing so well is going to be 1 so we will check if well equal equal 1 the condition is true we will return true right so this is our happy number right the same thing we can do for uh, we can check for 29 as well so here what will happen we will get a repeated value and then we will return false right so let us see how to implement this particular approach i hope the approach is clear so let us implement so what we will do first we will take a dictionary and we will name it as s let me increase the size right next what we will do we will run a loop while true then we will initialize our variable well with zero and here we will check the condition while n greater than zero so what will happen we will take a variable rem and will store the modulus of our number n by 10 in this variable rem and we will add the square of this particular value rem to our well and then n equal to n divide by 10 right now when we will come out of this while loop we will check if well equal equal 1 it means that it is a happy number so we will return true L if we will check that if well 
in s so if this value is present in our s and it is repeating again it means that it is not a happy number we will return false right so if both of these conditions are not satisfied it means that well is not a part of our dictionary so we will insert this value as a key in our dictionary right and let us associate a value 1 with this key well right and also we have to assign this well to our n and yes okay so we are done let us run our code to see if it's working fine okay i have write if here yeah it's it got accepted let us submit our solution okay so it's working fine and it is giving that it is faster than 94.16% of python online submissions that's great right i hope the approach is clear guys and i'll be making more videos on coding so make sure to practice the coding section it is very very important even for your interview also thank you so much for watching this video do subscribe my channel and hit the like button if you like the video bye bye